welcome to MovieVault.com. I'm Claire Bueno and the time has arrived for Earth's Last Stand because we attend the UK fan screening of Transformers Dark of the Moon. Our entire space race of the 1960s was in response to an event. If you breathe a word of what you've seen here, it will do time for treason. Well, my goodness, was this a logistical nightmare trying to set design this film? Yeah, how did you know about that? Yeah, no, it was. It was. It was a nightmare. It was very tricky, but um, we had a lot of fun doing it. It was really hard work, but it was great. Do you have a lot of input or, or is Michael such a visionary that he has a set idea and you need to comply? Uh, no, I like to think that um, we put air to Penneth in and uh, obviously Michael's got to um, buy off on everything but um, you know we've worked together, we've done a lot of films together now, go back to Pearl Harbor so there's a shorthand um, with all of us you know. How does the process begin for you guys then? Do, do you sit around a table and, and he brings you his ideas or drawings? How does it work? Michael has a germ of a story idea and then I go off and I start assembling visuals and um, and it goes from there. You know, I'll start introducing Michael to ideas for different looking things and then he'll come up with stuff. So it's bad and balling it, but it's a... Um, no, it's not a set process. You know, the script isn't locked in stone. There's a nucleus of a story and you know, then we have to start producing good drawings and, um, you know, good visuals. Jennifer, how does the process work for you? Well, we sort of evolve, you know, we evolve from the drawings, we evolve what we need, and we were, it was a very hard film, really hard film, because we were working in eight states in America. We never actually ever get to work in Los Angeles anymore, because uh, we're always away, and um, so you're bunny hopping from one state to the next to the next ahead of the camera. It was, I think our most challenging event was to, was to get the train and if you've seen the film, it's a, there's a train crash and that was probably our most difficult thing to achieve, but um, it's, it's a very big, very big scale and I love working with Nigel because he's always, always a very big scale. How much do you work as well with the, with the special effects guys? Because I mean, this is predominantly a special effects, a visual effects film. Actually, it's not. We actually shoot everything real. <laughs> it's practical, is it? Practical, yes, and much more practical. And I mean, everyone always says about Michael Bay films, oh, well, they're all CG and they're all done in post. But he doesn't shoot that way. He shoots practical locations, he does practical effects. So it's. All the cars are built, the spaceship is built, and. Um, and, and, and as well, I'm also in charge, you know, before it goes to visual effects, my department has to design it, and yes. then we give the designs to visual effects and they build it, you know. So it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, an amorphous process. So it's one of the questions actually I was going to put to him was how far does he go practically before he incorporates the, the, the stuff on this one. Not the robots, but like the vehicles and the, um, and the spaceships. And the tilting building. Yeah, no, a lot more physical stuff. Do you, I mean, obviously yourselves, would you say that the film just becomes more, more tactile, you know, visually because of the, of the practicalness of the, how the film's made? It's always the way he's worked, actually. He always likes to do things for real. And well, he's also learned from, learned from like, with the yeah. second one, yeah. you know, there was a lot more, I think, CG components and the, the transformations were a lot quicker and, and, you know, it was more CG. This one was more... Uh, it was more tactile, you know, there were more physical yeah. components that he had to fo physically photograph and play with. And, and how have you found, have you, you know, you obviously worked with him for a long time, how has he evolved as a director? Well, he's, embraced, he's embracing the digital medium, you know. When we did, uh, when we did Pearl Harbor, you know, there's very little to go with there, you know, so now he's, he's really embracing the technology and the 3D. And the 3D, that was, that was pretty great with him because we all were a bit worried that would slow him down because he's a very fast, energetic director and it didn't slow him down at all. So. Everything humans know of our planet, we were told, had been shared. You lied to us. You've made a grave mistake. What was it like actually being in front of the camera and working with Patrick Dempsey? <laughs> it was a lot easier than being a set decorator. <laughs> nicer. I thought at the end of the film that's what I'm going to do. They look after you, they bring you coats when you're cold, you know, you don't, it's all the muck and bullets being a set decorator but being an actress is so easy. <laughs> Thank you for asking.
you're used to working in front of camera. What was it like for you though, use, using dialogue and then connecting the sentiment of what you're saying when working with the dialogue? You know, that was really a challenge. It was great. I got to work with the, you know some of the best actors in the world on this film. So I really just learn and soaked up everything that they that they showed and I sat around all the all hours of the day and really watched everybody but it was it was an interesting challenge and I worked with an acting coach and you know I, I personally really enjoyed it and being able to tap into different emotions and um, you know realize what, what you got going on in your head it was great and from your own self-development what, what have you taken away with you from making this film so much I learned something new every single day the last year of my life has been you know the biggest roller coaster I don't know what I've taken away from it. I learned so many so many so many things and I've you know really just got to learn from some talented people and I've made a lot of friends so I think that's the one thing I'll take away from it years from now they're gonna ask where were you when they took over the planet you'll be fine I promise you. Michael how important is it to get the balance between spectacle and story in the film it's important. I think this movie, uh, it has have spectacle, but I think through it you've got real good emotion, you know? I think the, the action really resonates. And how important is it as well to be as practical as possible with the film? Practical, very, very. Every day's got to be practical. You don't want to waste money, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm all about making a movie practical so the studio doesn't spend that much money. <laughs> Optimus! <laughs> Well, that's it from the UK fan screening of Transformers Dark of the Moon. We have Michael Bay behind us, just about to go in to see the film himself. I'm Claire Bueno, signing out for MovieVault.com. You may lose your faith in us, but never in yourselves. From here, the fight will be your own.